Uh, the task for sessions, it typically takes between one and four sessions to complete that task. It depends on what's going on for uh, the adolescents in terms of expressing their ruptures and how parents are responding. Some need less time to do that work, others need more, hence the one to four. Um, when we do this workshop, we've often gotten comments, you spend a lot less time talking about task four slides than any of the other tasks beforehand. And you know, sometimes people think it's because task four might be less important, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Task four is a fundamental change mechanism for this therapy. Um, the reason why we spend less time talking about the content of task four is because task four is really about the process. It's really about that enactment between the parent and the kid instead of helping them to get a yes to continue or helping them to get a yes to um, talk to the parent or the parent to talk to the kid. It's about the process and sustaining the moment. So that's why we spend a little bit less time on this set of slides. So you all saw uh, Guy's impression of Mnuchin this morning. I think that's so funny. <laughs> um, we are not doing a Mnuchin uh, therapy here. We, we have prepared the adolescent and the parents substantially to come into this conversation with new perspectives and new skills to offer. We don't just put them together and say change. We, we tell them um, how, that they, how they can approach the situation and, and work with it differently. Um, so we make sure both are prepared for the conversation, know that we're going to jump in to coach as the therapist and both parent and adolescent are on board with that. Um, we've identified those important ruptures, those content areas that need to be discussed in order for a corrective attachment experience to happen, which we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, we make sure that those more <coughs> primary emotions have been accessed and that the adolescent is able to talk about them and that the parent is aware of their own experiences as it relates to the adolescent. And then finally, both have agreed to this conversation. Both are prepared to talk about it. They have ways to regulate their emotion. They know how we can jump in and help them. So all of this is fleshed out, as Suzanne said, in the task two and task three session. So we're ready. So the goal of this task is to create that corrective attachment experience. And we're not just walking in there and hoping that it happens, we're engineering that experience. We are making sure that the adolescent and parent are on board with where they need to be, and we'll break that down. So we want the adolescent to walk in um, and, and, and understand that the parent can be somebody who can provide for them. They can be empathetic, they can listen, they can engage in, in an attuned um, way. And that, that's really important because previously we know the adolescent has the expectation that the parent is really gonna fall short and we need them to see that the parent can do something different. Similarly, parents who have previously seen their kids dysregulated, throwing books across the room, you know, being out of control, is gonna walk in and say, wow, my adolescent is really able to articulate themselves and be reflective on their own experience. And I didn't know that they felt that way. So we want that expectation to change. We want to facilitate a discussion about the core attachment ruptures. So we're not going to go in there and talk about school and peers. We're going to talk about the, the key things that has gotten in the way of the parent-child relationship and what has really cause trauma or, or pain to the adolescent. So themes of abuse, um, criticism of the parent, um, feelings of neglect, those types of things are the right content to talk about here. And then finally, in the process, we're gonna have them engage with each other. Adolescent is going to express themselves in a regulated way and parent is going to be able to use new emotion coaching skills to guide the adolescent to say more about their experiences. So these are the, the components of that corrective attachment experience that we want to engender. Okay, so the mechanism of change in this corrective attachment experience is the enactment. 
We want a real-time, authentic conversation between parents and kids. We want them engaged with each other and relating to each other and becoming more connected in that conversation.